Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to tell you everything you need to know about the best and most popular mountain bike forks that are under the $500 price point. We made this same video just over two years ago and we figured we would redo it for 2022 with some new models and new information because there is a big market for people who want to upgrade their mountain bike fork and not spend over 500 bucks on that fork. If you are in the market to do that, I would highly suggest you watch our video about how to upgrade your mountain bike fork. In that video, we cover all of the really important fitment and compatibility situations when it comes to upgrading your fork. Things like your axle, brake type, steer tube size, uh, what else is in that thing? A lot of things, offset, all sorts of stuff. So definitely check that video out so you end up buying the right fork the first time. Also, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, we sell fork upgrades all the time and we have a, a dozen legitimate mountain bikers on staff happy to help you figure out the right fork for your bike and get the right fitment and all that sort of stuff. Because it's really, unfortunately, not that easy. It's pretty complex to make sure you get all the right things to fit your bike when it comes to all those other attributes of these forks. So that's just a little disclaimer. Speaking of disclaimers, these are orders based off of popularity, but that doesn't mean one's necessarily better than the other. Some are just a little more popular because of the size and the price point and the pros and cons and the bike type and things like that. So there's seven forks in this. Red seven, red seven, red seven. More or less dominate this category of forks under 500 bucks because they just offer so many different models and variants, almost to the point where it's very confusing. However, they make a lot of really good forks in this price range. Uh, last but not least, a lot of the manufacturers Manufacturers out there, including some of the stuff on this table, do not have accurate information on their website. Uh, they just aren't that good somehow. I don't know why a lot of brands in the bike industry, they're kind of notorious for not doing that. There's also OE things. OE is original equipment, means it's a fork that would come on a stock bike, but not available after market. So there might be a thing where, you know, you see it's only available in this travel range on a website, but then it's for sale at a different travel range on this site. And then it came on a bike complete at a different travel range. I'm confused because I never went to school. Anyway, so don't be too crazy about that. Pay attention to the product page where you're buying the fork to make sure you get the specifications right. All right, least but not last, let's actually start talking about forks. The most popular fork in this price point price point is the RockShox Recon Silver RL. This particular fork comes in a ton of different variants when it comes to wheel size and axle and travel and all of that sort of stuff. The price point is 268 to 376. The most popular specific SKU that we sell for the Recon Silver RL is a 29 inch wheel, 100 mil travel with a 100 millimeter quick release axle. So that's the most popular one and that's also 268 bucks. So this baby, it is an air sprung fork that has a compression adjustment, a lockout adjustment, and a rebound adjustment. But what's important about this is that at $268 price point, it has 32 millimeter stanchions, which is actually quite rare. A lot of forks that are under $300 are coming with 30 mil stanchions. Uh, 32 mil stanchions, sort of the larger that stanchion gets, the more, the more stiff the fork is, the more abuse you can throw at it, the more trail bikes slash enduro -y bikes you can put it on. And it's just a more sort of durable fork. Uh, so that's kind of why, well, mo one of the many reasons why the Recon Silver RL is the most popular in this price point. In the number two spot is the RockShox Judy Silver TK. If you have any idea what Reba, Judy, Recon, Silver Gold, TK, RL means, let us know because we're totally confused on it. <laughs> I knew you were gonna laugh. <laughs> The Judy Silver TK has 30 millimeter stanchions, is actually surprisingly lightweight because of that. The most popular one that we sell is also a 29 inch wheeled quick release axle, 100 millimeters of travel, and it's at 210 bucks, which is also surprisingly good for air spring, compression adjustment, lockout, and rebound. Um, yeah, pretty impressive fork. If you're looking for something lightweight that's under that $300 price point, or even under that $211 price point, because it's 210 bucks, this is your best bet for sort of that cross country general trail mountain bike. If you want something lightweight that still performs well, impressive stuff, Judy Silver TK. 
In the number three spot, we have something not from RockShock. It is the Manitou Markor. If you are wondering what a Markor is, check this out. The Markor is the national animal of Pakistan, where it is also known as the screwhorn goat. Markor stand 65 to 115 centimeters at the shoulder, are 132 to 186 centimeters long, and weigh from 32 to 110 kilograms. They have the highest maximum shoulder height among the species in the genus Capra, but is surpassed in length and weight by the Siberian ibex. But if you're wondering what I personally think when I hear the word markor, it is this. The markor, like all Manitou forks, has their reverse arch, which makes this thing stand out in terms of looks. It's also got a really cool blue anodized steer tube, albeit you don't really ever see that unless you have a stem with a cutout. But it definitely is a bit distinctive in terms of aesthetics, and it's also distinctive in some of the features it has. It's one of the few forks that is available in 26, 27.5, and 29. You also can adjust the travel from 80 all the way up to 120 mil just with the spacers internally with this fork, and you can I would say most most relatively qualified mechanics can do that themselves, or you can do it in your garage if you proceed with caution. But that's a pretty cool feature for a fork at this price point. Uh, starts at 300 bucks, goes up to 364. And once again, the most popular variant of this fork that we sell is the 29 inch wheeled 100 mil travel quick release axle. I think the you're gonna hear that a lot with these forks. A lot. <sighs> <laughs> because there's a lot of mountain bikes out there that have 100 mil travel and a 29 inch front wheel and they came with forks that are of pretty low quality right off of the showroom floor and all of these forks that are in that sort of 200 to 500 dollar price point are significant upgrades for those bikes. There you go, Manitou more core. A quick break from forks, I wanted to ask you a favor and that is if you could please check out Trail One Components. Worldwide Cyclery has an ownership stake in Trail One Components. The brand is making fantastic mountain bike components with a range of stems, grips, handlebars, and the brand truly supports the sport of mountain biking by giving a dollar back per product sold to the trail networks that they are named after. We are working with BKXC, Brian Kennedy, as well as a highly overqualified engineer to really truly make the products that we have always wanted to ride ourselves and build a brand that gives back to the sport in a really unique way. So please check it out. Just Google Trail One. Trail1.bike is the website. You can also shop the brand on the Worldwide Cycler site. Thank you. In the number four spot is the Recon Silver TK. Not to be confused with the other versions of the Recon, but the Recon Silver TK, I think is probably going to be discontinued soon enough here. However, at present, it is one of the more rare and probably the best, the probably the absolute best fork you can get for a 26 inch wheeled mountain bike specifically. And it also has V brake mounts plus disc brake mounts, which once again is no V brake mounts on any of these. So it's kind of a, it's in a rare breed and 26 inch wheels and V brakes are obviously a, sort of a, a dying breed of things. So this is kind of a rare fork. However, it still exists and at present we still have them, but I will no, don't know if we'll have them for long. Uh, it is an air fork at 268 bucks. It's got a lockout on it and rebound and probably, like I said, one of the best forks you could buy for a 26 inch wheeled bike, especially if you're looking for V brakes uh, in particular. So there you go. I'm going to put number five and six together really fast because RockShock is getting a little too much airtime right now. Number five is the Judy Gold RL at 397. So we're stepping up in price point here and getting towards that sort of, maybe you could call it mid-tier MTB fork. I don't know, who knows? beginning, mid, end. It's all a bunch of blurry lines in the mountain bike world. Uh, once again, the Judy series, lightweight, 30 millimeter stanchions. And yeah, all the same adjustments that a lot of these have had. So uh, compression, rebound, lockout, and it is an air fork. So yeah, nice stuff, Judy Gold RL. And number six, this is actually a pretty important fork. This is the RockShock 35 Gold RL. So this is the, I think the, the lowest price point you can get 35 millimeter diameter stanchions. Um, also EMTB certified, and it has a little bit more modern geometry and travel specifications for trail and enduro bikes. So if you do have a trail and or enduro bike and you're looking for something 120, 130 or plus in travel with a modern 15 by 110 boost axle, tapered steer, 
all the good stuff like the air spring, compression, lockout, rebound. 35 Gold RL is actually a really, really good option. Uh, this particular one is at $376. So under $400 for a 35 mil stanchion fork, this is your guy, very important fork in this lineup, 35 Gold RL. In the number seven spot, but extremely important fork. Last but not least, least but not last. Can I have this? Thanks. The Marizoki Bomber Z2. This fork actually now with this uh, 2022 inflation is not under $500, it's 519, sorry. But I had to put it in here because I do actually think that this is the best performing fork of all of the stuff you have seen so far. And yes, it is also a little bit more expensive than the rest of them. But at 519 bucks, 34 millimeter stanchions, a really, really good damper. And dampers really kind of determine the overall feel and quality of the suspension a fork has. So that's where I think this is a really important fork to pay attention to because once you get to that $519 price point, you're getting a fork that is starting to feel very similar to those $1,000 forks. Whereas the stuff below this, hard for me to honestly tell you it feels like the thousand dollar forks whereas this one's actually getting pretty close to that so it's an important fork in this category uh bomber z2 full compression adjustment with a lockout on the end rebound air spring 34 mil stanchions modern day specifications for that trail and enduro bike with through axles tapered steer longer travel ranges so definitely check this out if you can squeeze 519 dollars out of your budget and i think that is it that is all for these forks thank you very much for watching this far we genuinely appreciate it once again uh we sell forks all the time and we have people on staff constantly helping riders out there figure out which fork fits their bike and is best for their use case and price point so don't hesitate to reach out to us just hit the website it should be easy to contact us from there thank you very much if you like this video please share it with your mountain bike friends and subscribe and for extra bonus points hit that little thumbs up button it really helps the video out and uh, so we appreciate it thanks again see you later